Hey YouTube, what's up? So I got the first installment of a tutorial series on how to silk screen your own stickers or t-shirts using photosensitive light emulsion. So this stuff is um, light sensitive and whatever. I'm not going to get into the specs of it and whatnot, but it, it enables you to do uh, some pretty cool and uh, effective um, designs on silk screens that is much like a photo or a larger design that you don't have to exactly hand draw. So this is the design I will be doing. Um, it's a big piece or whatever. Um, that that was what I I drew it. Then I uh, edited it on the computer, made the lines a little bit cleaner and whatnot. And then um, now I'm going to burn it onto the screen, as well as um, it's just not wouldn't have come out as good if I like painted it on like the drawing fluid like I showed in the other video. But if you want to check that tutorial out, I will link it in the description. But uh, this will give you a nice um, photo uh, qu quality image or whatever or so um, you can do that so you're going to want to start off by taping your screen off uh, my image I printed before I actually had the screen and took the measurements of it so um, mine is a little bit off so I won't exactly go around all four corners but you should definitely do that as it will keep your screen from getting ink uh, below the corners but um, just taping off your screen is pretty simple I use painters tape there's actually like a silk screening tape that you can get as well but um, I don't have it and this works just All right, fine so now that me. you have your screen taped off you're gonna wanna put gloves of some sort on um, I have these reusable rubber gloves that I will be using um, as I don't think this stuff is too good if it gets on your hands um, you know it's just safety or whatever and um, your squeegee that you should be using, I have tried it with a rubber squeegee, but it didn't really work and it kind of was inconsistent. So I would suggest using um, a plastic squeegee. This one came in a speedball kit um, that I was my first silk screen kit, and um, that that had a lot of good tutorials or whatever within the video um, that kind of taught me how to do this stuff. So I definitely go check that out if you're looking for a cheap um, starter kit, I guess. So. Um, I have my emulsion sensitized and all set up. Um, I didn't mention this before, but you will be storing this in a dark room. Um, I have a tutorial on making a dark room out of a box. It's really simple, um, but uh, you definitely want to have that set up prior to uh, putting this together and whatever. So um, this is a thing, and then you're going to want to uh, put a pretty good glop of it on the screen and then spread it out using the squeegee uh, one layer on each side and uh, I'll show you how that's done So there you go, that's how to prep your screen with photo emulsion. I would definitely suggest using this method and um, as you can see it covers pretty well. Uh, the stuff I got is comes in the court, it was about 20 bucks. Um, I would definitely suggest picking some up if you're going to be doing silk screening as it makes it a lot higher quality and you're going to want to store this in a light safe place like I said. It's okay that you didn't uh, sensitize it uh, in a light safe place and whatever but as soon as it dries it will be uh, effective to light so you're going to want to get it in there very soon after um, you set and finish putting the emulsion on it so you just really want an even coat and uh, that's really going to do it for me hopefully this tutorial helped there will be a link to the next video in this t series uh, at the end of this video along with some of my older videos or whatever that you can also check out that's going to do it for me comment rate subscribe peace